we are redeemed in him. Colossians chapter 1 verses 13 to 14. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. As we continue looking at the various things that God has made available to us in Christ, a very important truth that we discover is that in Christ we are redeemed or as the scripture tells us here in him we have redemption and the preceding verse was 13 explains this to us as Paul says here God has delivered that is set us free he has delivered us from the power of darkness and he has translated us into the kingdom of his own dear son so now I'm no longer in the kingdom of darkness but I'm in the kingdom of his dear son. Now, the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ, the kingdom of God is far greater, far superior to the kingdom of darkness. And the kingdom of darkness is no match for the kingdom of light. And we've been transferred, we've been translated out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. We belong to that kingdom. And therefore, the devil has no right over our lives. We no longer are citizens of darkness. We are citizens of light. We are citizens of, citizens of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. The devil has no right to touch you, uh, come again, to uh, uh, touch any part of your being. Uh, you are redeemed. Now, as the redeemed of the Lord, it means that we are God's purchased possession. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 20, he says, You have been bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your spirit and in your body, which are God's. So think about it. Your spirit, your soul, your body, everything about you has been purchased. That what, that's part of what it means to be redeemed. It, it means I've been purchased out of the slavery of the enemy of the one who, of my oppressor, the one who had dominion over me. Jesus paid the ransom price and he said, I'm setting that person free. And so we've been purchased, but now I belong to Jesus. We are his purchased property. Your spirit, soul, and body are the purchased property of Jesus Christ. The devil has no right to touch that. The blood of Jesus Christ was a price that was paid to purchase you or purchase us out of the enemy's hold. We are God's purchased possession. So now you and I need to stand on that and declare my spirit, my soul, my body, everything about me, my life, my present, my future, my finances, my family, everything about me that's attached to my life is purchased. It's redeemed. It belongs to God. The devil has no right to trespass on it. In Jesus Christ, I am God's purchased possession. In Jesus Christ, we are the redeemed of the Lord. In Him, we have redemption. And redemption is a present tense fact. It's a present tense reality. We begin to walk in it in everyday life. Choose to live out of your redemption that you have in Him. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that in Him, in Christ, we have redemption. We are delivered from the powers of darkness. We are completely and totally your purchased possession. The devil has no right to trespass on God's property. We stand our ground in the redemption we have, and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.